What's up everybody, my name is Martin Lowe and welcome back to the Talk Sport Martin Show. Today we will be picking the brains of my fellow teammate, football player from Jamaica and America, mm. Romario Gordon, bro. What's, What's up, Gucci man? with it, brother? Welcome to the show. What's poppin', what's poppin'? So tell me, mm. we just had a conversation before you told me that <coughs> uh, you're actually American and Jamaican. Mm. So was... tell me about that, is it your parents... Uh, half Jamaican, half American. No, I was born in Jamaica. Uh, I was born in Jamaica. My dad, my mom is Jamaican. Uh, my dad, family, uh, they live in America. Uh, my dad migrated when I was like five years old. So after that, I waited like 10 years after to go to America. He filed for me and then that was it. I became ah. an American citizen at 15, 16 years old. Ah, so your, your, your dad was there before and then your mom when no, you were in no, Jamaica? No, my mom is in Jamaica right yeah. now. Yeah. Actually, my mom is going to go this year to America because I'm taking her there. So yeah. I filed for her too. So it's crazy. Yeah. Ah, mm. So uh, your dad's not actually American, but because he was living there, he got the... He got the citizenship. And, and now then he, he take brought me. you back over there mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... But what would you prefer to, to call yourself, American or Jamaican? No, I'm Jamaican-American. <laughs> I'm Jamaican-American. But if you could choose one? If I can choose one? No, for sure, Jamaica is my heart. But, yeah. Amer but America is home. Yeah. You understand? That's where I live. That's where I do my business. That's where everything. Mm. You understand? I mean, if you invest in America, it, it goes up more than Jamaica, I think. Sure, it's more, it's more developed. For sure, you understand? Yeah. But the tax-wise, I would say Jamaica, for sure, yeah. you understand? Like, because the tax is way cheaper. And stuff yeah, yeah, like sure. That, you know, so, in, in, yeah. in Jamaica, when you were there for the beginning of your... Okay, it's considered third world, even though we're Caribbean, <laughs> you know? So, um, I think I started football immediately when I came up my mom's stomach, you understand? Yeah. I think I was playing football in there or something, you understand? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I started playing football at three years old. And then I just never looked it back at like five, six years old. I'm playing with grown men, it's getting kicked every day, stuff like that. You know how that go. So, yeah. Yeah, playing on the street, playing beer food on the street. I never moved in a ca into an academy until I was like 12 years old. Yeah. So. That's nice. Mm -hmm. What about like, uh, for example, like you moved from when you moved to America, for example, you see the football culture there. Where would you say the football culture is, is better or even more? No, passionate? Jamaica for sure. Yeah. Jamaica for sure, because when I moved to America, America like like the academy is like, I would say like it's more like, like business wise. It's all about making money, right? It's all about making money. Yeah. You understand? Like one kid would pay like a couple grand. Man. Too much, you understand? <laughs> Just for football, you understand? <laughs> Me, I didn't pay. I couldn't pay. Mm. So, you understand? Um, and the love for football, in America, they call it soccer. So, the love for soccer in, in America is not as much as the NFL. Like, the NFL. Yeah, yeah, it's not the main sport. Yeah, so NFL is like rugby. You know rugby, I know rugby. Mm. You understand? But yeah. NFL is like their national anthem over there with baseball and stuff, mm. basketball and stuff like that. So for sure, Jamaica. Yeah, it's the same as in Australia where football, soccer is I'm not the number you. one sport. And, and for so sure. for you sure. don't see it really develop and, and mm -hmm. get to the, its highest potential for the for country. Sure. So for sure, for that, sure. That's a bit hard. But for, uh, sure. for example, if you ever had the chance to choose if uh, Jamaica or America came calling for national cap, mm. who would you choose? If both of them equally Man, gave you the same option. To be honest with you, I get asked that question by friends from both Jamaica and America. And to be honest with you, anyone would love to represent their country. Sure. You understand? But I'll which be, one? <laughs> which one? Anyone come calling, I'm, I'm gunning for All it. Right, let's understand? say both come calling, bro. You got to choose. Man, if both come calling, <laughs> man, I'm choosing where I live. You understand? America where do you live? Sure. America. <laughs> you understand? Sorry, Jamaica. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You yeah. understand? I understand, mm. bro. It's like, so you, were, you start off in Jamaica, you playing around the streets there, build up your football passion, move to America, continue there. Uh, after America, where did you take uh, your career? When did it really start for you? Um, <clears throat> it started when, actually, my career started when I met uh, an individual, a legend. Mm. 
Uh, his name is Mohamed Kalon. He mm -hmm. played for Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. It's Monaco. Uh, he played in Saudi Arabia. I think like he's a king down there. How old were you? I was... Uh, 20-ish. Yeah. And no, now I met him when I'm 19. At this 19. point, you're in America, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I met him when I'm 19, and uh, I learned football all over again. I thought I knew football. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I, I learned football all over again. I learned how to chess ball. Like, I used to, like, you know, in Jamaica, where you chess a ball, you chess down. Mm -hmm. You understand? But, like, I learned all the, the little details about football, like controlling the football, like, like just tighten up, you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's when my career really started. I you know, started traveling and stuff like that. And he helped my career get to where it's at right now inside of Vietnam mm -hmm. by just mentoring me and just pushing me. And, yeah. you know, yeah. he's a legend, so of course I'm gonna listen to him, you understand? For he sure. played at the highest level. For sure, for sure. You understand? So not a lot of people have that in their corner. You've met your agent. Um, how did he lead you here? In the States, and uh, I was with Mohammed again, and he sent uh, an agreement contract to him and I and, uh, for two years and stuff like that. Agent contract? Agent contract. I stayed there for a month, actually. No trial, no nothing. Actually, like, I think I was so supposed to, like, get used to, like, the Asian atmosphere, the Asian culture. Asian, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like while I was in Malaysia, the first time, as soon as I came off the flight, he told me, he said, okay, what you want, this the deal, you're gonna go to Vietnam. I said, Vietnam? Dude, I'm American, what am I doing in Vietnam? You mm. want them to kill me? I'm, I'm ignorant at the time, I don't know nothing, you understand? Yeah, 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 sure. So, stayed there for a month, did everything, did my training, get used to the culture, get used to all the kicking that um that you see I'm getting now in the league, you know what I'm saying? Uh and then that's when I came, I came, went to July and the rest was history. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So first you came you, you were just playing with like uh the amateur teams to prepare yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Get used to the climate and uh get yourself fit so you went you went straight into No, the, I stayed like I stayed one month. Like with one professional team, their second division team. Ah, okay, okay. Just to prepare yourself. You know, they, you know, agents, how they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? And then you went so, directly to the mm, line. So, uh, stayed and I trained with that team after, like, you know, because I was on a very good farm. Mm. You understand? Before, before that, you understand? Came and then he just said, you're going to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and then the rest was history. So now you're in Vietnam and <coughs> how can you compare your first experience stepping in and playing with the Vietnamese uh, players uh, and your experience now? Like, can, What is like your feeling about the first time to now with your experience here, being in five different clubs and being here for your fifth year now? No, when I just came here and uh, <coughs> I'm training in 1 July and uh, we play BTV Cup. That first time I say, what is this? Like, the experience, the feeling is just like, yo, this league is Italian league. Like, mm -hmm. like you can tackle someone from the back and, you know, a local player can tackle someone from the back and, like, get like a warning for it. Mm -hmm. One player can tackle, like, six, seven times, nasty tackle and, and don't even get a card for it. And, mm -hmm. you know, so I was just like, yo, this is, this is, Italian league back in the days, you know, in the, in the, in the 1990s or, or, or something like, what's going on, you know? Mm. But, uh, like, the experience, I mean, you gain it over the years and stuff like that. Of course, in five different clubs, it's five different remarriers. Mm. Of course, I don't, I don't want to be in five different clubs. I want to be in one club, mm. but if you're not happy, you move on. Mm. You understand? Happiness, once you're happy playing football, they see the best of you. You understand? For sure. So, I mean, the experience that I've gotten over the years is that 
Do you feel like goals? You've... Goals up Go. came because I started. <coughs> I started with no goals, mm -hmm. which was tragic. You understand? Then moved to one. Th moved to Tanwa. Then the goals came. Thanks to Papi Omar, you understand? I give him so much respect. Uh, then you see a different side of Remar. You see like the passion that people say is anger, hot temper, but really and truly it's passion, mm -hmm. you understand? So you have that side of Remar. Then you move to Hanoi, where you have to compete 24 seven. Nothing is guaranteed. I mean, you know our coach, I mean, mm -hmm. nothing is guaranteed. Yeah. No care who you are. So you have to work every day, 24-7. Plus you have star players that they also have their personalities as well. So that's also another side of Remari. Then you move again, then you go to Taplan Binding. Um, they come. That's another side of Remari. <laughs> you understand? <coughs> that's another side of Remari. You hear me? So, you know, no we in iPhone, as you can see. One hell of a, a journey, you know, not a lot of people can say they can have the experience that you have in like all the different clubs that you've been in, all the different environments and all the different expectations because especially for a foreigner. Other players, they change and go to different teams. No one talk. Mm -hmm. Nothing, like it's not big. But if Romario change and go to a different team, a different team, a different team, Someone talk, someone have problem. Someone say, ah, he changed too much. Ah, why he don't stay at that team, da, da, da. Are you Remorio? Mm -hmm. You're not going to what Remorio is going to. But I mean, like you say, I mean, it's not that the, the job is even on the, the line so much. It, it's, it's, it's more consistent of the pressure. Mm. You understand? That's why whenever I go to a team, no one can pressure me. Only Remorio pressure himself. Mm. You understand? Remora critique himself. Remora criticize himself. Mm. No one can criticize me. No one can motivate me. Remora motivate himself. Yeah. You understand? That's why, like, I mean, it's not easy to be in a shoe that you go from one team to one team to one team to one team. Because it's not easy. No, it's not. Definitely not. It's not easy because if you go to, you, I leave from July, didn't score any goals. I go to Tanwa, man, it was do or die. If I don't score any goals, I'm done in Vietnam, for sure. Yeah. You understand? Then boom, out, That's how it works, out the yeah. rip. I'm scoring, I'm scoring, I'm scoring, I'm scoring, I'm scoring, which is crazy. I stay again. Where all the good players, they left. All the good players left Tanwa. I stayed. Scored again. Moved to Hanoi. Difficult problems, problems with my agent. I mean, a lot of stuff happened with that one right there that I'm sure even the club wouldn't even want to like say, you know what I'm saying? So, sure. you know, it's crazy. It's just agent problem, then got a little injury, light one, then still came back and scored again. Mm. Moved to Topland Binding. Tragic. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> Shit. Damn. You know what I'm Do you want to talk about that? <laughs> Yeah. We're leaving in the past. <laughs> <coughs> bending is bending. You understand? <laughs> yeah, three goals and it is what it is. <laughs> Still score. Yeah, yeah. They thought I would have died. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm here. You yeah. understand? Refocus, re energize. I'm here. High fun. You understand? Yeah, so that is a place. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like right next to the lake. So we are going to like a street restaurant. And here they have bánh cuốn and phở bò. Do you know it? I know phở bò. Right? I know. <laughs> you definitely love it as well. I like it, I like it. I like the meat, I like everything inside. So, for sure. You know. Okay, let's go for yeah. it. Uh, cô ơi, cho con hai bát phở, một đĩa bánh cuốn ạ. Dạ vâng, con làm ơn cô ạ. Come on, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry now. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, do you usually like eat in the morning? No, not really. I don't like to eat in the morning. Not but really? Today can pass. Uh. Today can pass. No problem. <laughs> okay. okay. Today is okay.
Okay, so now this is the second dish of mm. our breakfast today. Do you know what it is? I don't. Enlighten me, please. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. In Vietnamese, we call bánh quấn. So steamed rice roll. Yeah, so bánh quấn. Can I try in the Vietnamese one? Oh, yeah. Sure. Bánh roll. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's bánh quấn. Bánh quấn. Quấn. Okay. Quấn. Quấn. Yeah, quấn means roll. Bánh quấn. I'll take you. Come on, try this part. That Thank one. You. Okay. Oh, can you eat the chopstick even? That one. <laughs> the chopstick go there. I'll try to try. Oh wait, wait, you need to like. Oh, I need yeah, to put it. Oh, it. Yeah, I'm so the... sorry. <laughs> this is the fish sauce. Really? Mm -hmm. Come okay. on. Oh my gosh. I think you love it. Okay, how nice. how how the, how the taste? It's nice. How nice it is. From a scale from one to ten, uh -huh. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> Really? Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. today um, we have a challenge for you. Okay. Let's try to make bánh cuốn today. Okay, we can yeah, do it, no we problem. We can do that too. Okay, no let problem. me ask her. Come on, let's go. I'm a chef, no problem. <laughs> Look at me, the chef. I need to try this for sure. <laughs> I want to see how like different it is compared to like the original for sure, like, version. For sure, for okay, try. From a scale from one to ten. Oh come on! <laughs> I tried. I tried. I tried. I, I mean, tried. The taste is not too different, but the texture. Do you know what I mean? The texture, like for the, sure. the flour. You, you can. You can tell. You can tell Mario did it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the texture is not as smooth for as sure, what she does. For sure, for sure, for I mean, sure. But it's no problem. Yeah, it's still I a good tried. job. Yeah, My exactly. First time. No, high five. Good job. No <laughs> good <Yay>. job, man. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. From our talk before, you told me something sure. in the ranges of uh, being a comedian or mm -hmm. possibly an actor. Man. Do you think in Vietnam they have an actor with your caliber? <laughs> man, of course, man. I think I think like whoever who, whoever have an acting studio or something, they should hit you please up. Please hit me up, like something <laughs> like I'm saying. I think I think I'll be a dope actor. But honestly, see, just from like uh, the last however long we've been on the show so far, mm -hmm. uh, just I'm sure everyone can see your confidence. How easy it is for you to, to talk and, and, and speak your feelings and show your emotions that, uh, you know, in camera, in front of the camera, you're confident. Mm -hmm. And you're, I can see already, you already back yourself to be Man. an actor, bro, so. Martin, I tell you what, <clears throat> if they give me a script right now, <laughs> I'll kill it. I swear. For give sure? any script, man. All right, let's do something, let's do something real quick. What then. you want to do? All right. Let's yeah. do something, alright. So you can look into this camera. Alright. <coughs> and uh, we'll play a little game. Okay. So we're gonna use uh, the four emotions. What? Happiness, okay. sadness. Uh, I'll throw in some some funny ones. Throw after. anything inside. Happiness, right. sadness. So throw you you inside. make up your script. Okay. And you show me these emotions. On the spot. On the spot, bro. Say less. Let's see how good you are. Say less. Okay. Alright, let's start off with happy. Nice, happy day. Wow. It's such a great day outside. Oh, you can go anywhere, resort, da da da. da. But you have to give me something. Oh, I got else. you. I got you. Okay. You have to give me All right, here. I got you. I got, like, I got you something. On. I got you something. Okay. Thank All you. All right. So you've just rocked up. Uh, you just came home, mm -hmm. and you open your door and you see ten million dollars in front of you in a bag, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, tell me, tell Say me what's going to happen. Okay, <clears throat> I'm acting, right? You're acting, bro. You can do whatever you want. You just say the 10 million, it's your choice. Open be the happy. door. Damn! <laughs> Who put 10 million dollars here? This is my lucky day. What the heck? Take the money. 
Go splurge, man. Make it rain. <laughs> all day. All right, kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that all one. Day. Kill all that day. One. All, all day. All right, next day. one, next one, next one. All right. Yeah. So you got the 10 million now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You walk outside. Yeah. Uh, someone snatches your 10 mil and yeah. runs off. How do you feel? So this one is the body motion. Yeah, Someone this one, you can choose between angry and, and, and sad. <coughs> this is up to you. Okay. <laughs> um, so they snatch my 10 million. Yeah. 10 million is a lot of money, though. They just snatched they it, They just snatch some of my money. Yeah, just snatched it. I'm like, hey, where you going with my money, man? Hey, bring my money back, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring my money back, man. Don't let me run you down, okay? Bring my money back, man. Don't let me start fighting, okay? Okay? Bring my money back. <laughs> All day. All right, so yeah. that happens. Uh -huh. All right. He punches you in the face. Ah, uh, come on now, man. You right. can't punch me in the he face. He punches you. Right, this guy's guy some <laughs> Bruce Lee guy, bro. He's, he's copped you in the face, yeah, all right? Okay. And uh, your personality, this is not Romario, but this, okay. some other guy is someone who doesn't like to fight. So he's hit you in the face and now you're sad. You want to cry. Okay. Show okay. it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not Romario personality. No, nah, this is someone, okay, bro. So, so I've just hooked is. you in the face. You just punched me in the face, have you? Stop crying out the window. <laughs> Can you give me a quick tea drop, bro? I did. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For and sure. one more last emotion. For sure. So this a guy's punched in the face. He's run off. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for some reason, uh, it's a really windy day and the bag gets taken away by the wind and it just falls back in your hands, the 10 mm -hmm. mil. So I want to see. So the wind blew the money away. The wind blew the money away, but back in your arms. Okay. <laughs> So which emotion is this one? Wow. Surprise. Blessed. <laughs> a surprise emotion. Okay. So I'm walking with so the you've money. Just, you've just started crying and mm. now you've just seen 10 million drop back in your arms. <laughs> Man. All day. <laughs> All day. That's the, best, that's the best emotion. All day. Back to happy. Same as before. Back to happy. Same as before. Let's splurge. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it, man. Throw it. I mean, you know how it go. Yeah. <laughs> that was good, bro. That was good. No, but I think I'll do... I think I can, like, flourish inside of me. You know what I'm saying? With that that personality. I'm in that lane after football or something. Yeah. Or maybe I can be, like, a motivational speaker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just give wisdom to people or something. Like, just, just try to show someone, like, life is not easy. Just try to show someone that life is not easy. Yeah. Um... Life is difficult, you understand? Like, not, not, not putting my life in their path, mm. but like just sharing with them, like, hey, like, you're gonna have obstacles in the way, stuff like that. Just being like a motivational speaker or something. Yeah, I mean, you've, you know? you've had a lot of experiences, and I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even with your confidence mm -hmm. uh, and your energy, mm -hmm. that uh, the way you talk to someone about your experience could be powerful enough to help them to want to do more for sure in whatever sure. area that they feel for less sure. less for than sure. in you know um, for sure. you know what i think about for people who want to be motivational speakers is someone who uh was also motivated when they were younger by someone else do you feel like that's what happened and, and <coughs> i was motivated by my mom yeah to be honest with you um just to see like become a mom at that day they broke up you understand i mean yeah. that's Third world, you know, we know how it go. You understand? Know um, so like just to like just just to see how my mom like take care for not one, not two, but four. You understand? Four kids. Uh, man, I take my hats off to my mom to like be a mom and dad at the same time. Yeah. You feel me? Like just like in hardship. I mean. The best thing my mom can ever, ever, ever do for all her four kids is being able to provide. You understand? Mm. I mean, a lack in some areas, for sure. I mean, I tell my mom all the time. I mean, I love her for, 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 for the fact that she always makes sure that we had food on the table. You understand? It wasn't from a rich family. Yeah. It was from a hustling family, for sure. But um, the fact that she always makes sure that food is on the table like go out there every day hustling, hustling, hustling. When I say hustling, like being a vendor, selling, selling stuff on the roadside and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, like I remember like one time my mom would come and my mom would say, ah, 
come to my come to my stall. Like basically, it's like this spot, like she got into spot. the space where she yeah, yeah. sell. And then she'll be like, "Come, come do what feeds you. You need to shout out, get customer." I'll look up my mom. I say, "Who doing that? I'm not doing that. Hell no, I'm not doing that." Mm. And my mom will fight me and say, do it. This is what feeds you. I say, I'm not doing that. I'm mm. going to change your life. I'm not doing that. So, you know, that's my, that's my, that's my motivator. My mom. Yeah, yeah. Mm, that's that's beautiful, motivator. bro. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you have your reason why, mm -hmm. uh, what pushes you, what drives you. For sure. And, you know, especially when it's someone like your mom that you love so much, sky's the limit, you know. I mean, every boy has loved their mom. Every boys love their mom, but it's not about the love. You understand? It's <clears throat> it's about like the reality that that my mom instills in me. Mm -hmm. Not only my mom. You understand? Yeah. My dad plays his role as well by by helping me go into America. And, like that's the best opportunity he could ever give me in my life. You feel me? Yeah. Like just changing my life just like that. Like. Mm -hmm. And so with with. Um with everything you learned from, from your mom or, and your dad and uh, your experiences in Vietnam, Jamaica, or America, mm -hmm. um, if you were a motivational speaker right now, what words could you give for a, young, a younger Romario? The best advice I could give Romario is that continue to be yourself, continue to respect people, um, continue to be a fighter. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do anything. Never take no for an answer. If you hear one no, promise you there's a yes somewhere. Um, understand that not everyone in this world is going to like you. So don't try to please anyone. Don't do anything for anyone. The younger Mario, I would advise him to stay in his lane. The, this is the older Mario telling the younger Mario, you know. Stay in your lane, never get out your lane. Yeah, I used to care because like, I give so much love to people. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I would tell the younger Mario, hey, continue to give love, but stay in your lane. Mm -hmm. You understand? Don't yeah. care what no one say, but never change who you are. Don't let anyone um, try to, 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 to make you change who you are. Mm -hmm. Just always show love. Yeah. You understand? And just, mm, just know that life is like this. Life is up and down. You're gonna get hurt. Mm -hmm. Just quickly move on. Yeah, that's what I tell the younger Romario. Swear. Speaking like a motivational speaker. I'm telling you. I think I already picked your future job, bro. I'm telling you. That and acting. We haven't spoke about singing yet, but that's I just. I can't sing. <laughs> I heard you know one Vietnamese song, bro. Ah, it was back then when I two thousand and eighteen, bro. Give me, give me a chorus. <laughs> <laughs> it was two thousand and eighteen. It was like this song, Nila Oi. But now I don't, I don't like that song no more. Bro, you I said like, you, you dig Bin Bin Z, so. No, not Bin Z. I like oh, what's her name? Um, Big Fung. Big Fung. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know who she is. Big um, Fung. you know her song? Can you sing for me, bro? It's B I C H. P H U O N G. Ah, okay, yeah. I don't know who that is, but uh, I've seen that name somewhere before. Okay. You, you don't know, know a song? Her? You know a song? I know a song, but okay. Just give me a bit of a vocal, bro, so it, I can remember. It, it, it's not going to sound good like this no one. No problem, bro. Hit me. Uh, what's his name? Um, <laughs> That thing with Snoop Dogg. Sun Tung. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song he did with, 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 with 50 Cent. Uh, I don't even know what words they're even saying in, <laughs> nah, in that, that song. One, that, one, <laughs> that one, that one, that that's dope. It's a dope one. Yeah, man. I like that one. Mm, it's, it's got dope cool vibes. One. I like that it's one. Crazy. And Ben Z too. That's <laughs> fire. Nah, I like that girl name and. I like her, Bin, Bin, Bin Fung. I can't say her name right. Big, I'm sorry. Big, Big Fung, I think. Yeah. I like her. I like her songs. They're funny, you know? Mm. Funny? Yeah. Her yeah, songs? They're, yeah, they're funny. What do you mean? What are they about? Uh, I think this one, she have this one called... Do -do 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 
Hey man, I don't know. But I don't know. Don't look at me, bro. I don't even know. I'm hoping that you yeah, can yeah, yeah. ring a bell I, for me. I don't speak the language that fluently, so you know. But I like her though. I like her songs. Yeah, yeah maybe I have to search yeah. her up, or, or maybe we can put her somewhere on 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 the show so people know who we're talking about. <laughs> I'll show you after the show. I swear. <laughs> I'll show you, but I know who I'm talking about. You yeah. Know? After football, go bro, home. Bro, it's man. still a long way away. Let's see what happens. You never know. You could be the next rapper with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, bro. Can't sing, brother. Can't sing. Bro, sky's the limit, bro. Just think about your mum. You're mm -hmm. motivated. You could be the next Stop. 50 cent. Of I, I think about my mum every day, brother. She motivates me every day. Exactly, I'm bro. Telling you never you, know sky's the limit. Singing now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thank you for allowing me to be on your show. Yeah, bro, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you everyone for watching the show. Uh, it was very nice to have Romario Gordon here to share his experiences and, and, and show us how good of an actor he is. Uh, uh, catch us on the next episode. Uh, I hope to see you guys soon and have a good night.